Today's video topic is something that I've wanted to do for a while and I now think it is the time to do it. So as you can see by what I am wearing right now is I am wearing a uh, Supreme, obviously. If you are new to my channel, if you don't know what I do, I basically make videos uh, every once in a while throughout the week. Uh, sometimes about Supreme, sometimes about my life. It just is super random and unfortunately I don't have like one main thing that I do But I guess I could say that I just vlog and film my life But something that I'm definitely super into is the clothing company Supreme as you can tell I'm wearing one of their hoodies and one of their hats Basically the whole reason why I wanted to make this video is I believe there are three to four reasons why people buy Supreme and I kind of want to go into them and then go into detail about each of those things So that is what today's video topic is going to be about Now before I say anything, just remember these are my opinions and these are what I personally think are the reasons why people buy Supreme. The number one reason, and this is actually my reason why I wear Supreme, and it is for personal cops or for personal reasons. I buy Supreme personally because I like the company and I like how their business works. They only drop things every Thursday and it sells out instantly. So when you get something, you get something that is limited every single time. And once they make it, they like never make it again. Or if they do make it again, it's like a variation of it. So you're getting like a unique piece. And that's what I mainly love about Supreme. Some people may buy it because like maybe there's a collaboration with a company that they really love and that makes them want it even more. More, but I mainly love the uniqueness of it and that's why I personally buy Supreme like this hoodie in my school There are probably like 2,000 people like that sounds like a lot But in it is like there's so many people that go to my school There's the occasional person that you see with Supreme But never have I ever seen anyone with this hoodie with this hat with any of my items And that's why I love having my Supreme because like it like it's unique and that's what I love about it That's why I personally buy it and I believe the number one reason why people buy Supreme is for personal reasons or for personal cops <laughs> Every once in a while when I'm bored, I like to just get in my car and kind of go drive, listen to music, sometimes go up to like this like mountain lookout view hill. I don't know, sometimes just to think about stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Uh, just gonna be driving around because the weather is terrible. There's nothing at home that sounds fun. Like I'm not a huge fan of Xbox anymore just cause it's kind of boring. Anyway, I'm just going to be driving around. I'm probably going to make a cinematic edit is what I'm going to probably end up doing because there's not going to be a whole lot of vlogging to be done while I'm driving. Uh, I'll try to get some six cinematics, put it together in a little edit. I have not done one of those uh, in a while, so I'll just do one of those. Don't tell a lie on me. I won't tell the truth about you. Don't tell a lie on me. I won't tell the truth about you. Well, well, well. Look where we are at. If you guys do not know what this place is, I made a video in the summer called Utah's Most sh Skate Park, and this is it. Um, I'm obviously not going to ride here because it's wet and snowy, but look at this rail. Like, how? It is like the size of my knee. Uh, there is cracks like everywhere There is this random rail like a random like it looks like they just took sand and then put like cement over it Like if you even want to call this a skate park Go for it. I personally would not call it a skate park. I call it the I don't call it anything I guess uh, I was just kind of driving around. Uh, it's called the Farmington skate park That's where it is, but I was just driving around and I was in the area. So I'm like, you know what? Let's stop by and film it here. I am a kid who knows nothing about Supreme. I know that rappers wear it and that it's this super cool company and I wanna buy a box logo hoodie. So, what do I do? Well, I go on the computer and I type in 
Supreme hoodie. Cause what else would I search? And what is the first thing I see? The hoodie I want and the price tag, $1,500. And here I am, the reseller who owns a Supreme hoodie. So what do I do? I put it online for $1,500 and hope some rich kid who wants one will buy my hoodie because that is about a $1,400 profit. <sighs> that is business right there. What I just described was reason number two why people buy Supreme and they buy it to resell because there's kids out there that have no idea what Supreme is. They just know that it is really hyped and if you have one, you're so cool. So they charge outrageous prices like $1,500 for a hoodie that costs about $170 hoping that some kid will buy it, which is nuts. Because like I'm on StockX right now, which is a good way to resell and buy if you like are about that. And the last sale of the Heather Gray box logo, I believe from fall, winter 16, yes. The last sale was 1450. That means someone spent a thousand and three hundred dollars over the actual price tag, which is a bit crazy for a hoodie. Which is why so many people that buy Supreme, they buy it to resell. I have a couple friends who do that. Like I know a lot of people who buy only to resell because you can make good money from literally buying and selling clothes. Like it's crazy how much hype is around this little box logo right here. Don't tell a lie on me. I won't tell the truth about you. Don't tell a lie on me. I won't tell the truth about you. My fans can't wait for me to sun your punk ass and crush your whole little shit. So here behind me, you definitely cannot see uh, all that behind me. That is the view of the whole city I live in. Every once in a while I like to come up here, play some music. I just like listen and look at the view and kind of just think about stuff every once in a while. It's not like very often I do this, but every once in a while I just do and I'm doing it right now. But like I noticed something really weird. Look how weird this looks. Like in the middle of the screen, like the snow just appears to like stop snowing like that's really weird like there's like only areas that it snowed on and like in the distance there's like no snow it's really weird so about like two weeks ago i made this video the supreme spring summer 18 week one unboxing where i unboxed this hoodie and the top comment on it says bro you tried on before reselling lol what the f and uh i kind of wasn't thinking but i definitely did not resell this hoodie as i'm wearing it right now i did end up keeping it for personal reasons because it was such a fire hoodie and also another little reason why is because the people who were going to buy ended up not following through so I was like, you know what, it's all good, I love this hoodie, I will take the W and I will keep it. So I did not like try it on before reselling, I mean technically I did but I wasn't really thinking, I was just thinking of the video. And I was a little hyped to open it up because this hoodie is fire. But now to reason number three why people buy Supreme. And that is to flex. I feel like it kind of goes with uh, personal cops, but it's a little bit more extreme than personal cops. And I think the third reason why people buy Supreme is to just show people how much money they have, I guess. Like if you see someone wearing like, I guess you could say hype beasts or all these crazy outfits where like all Supreme, like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, all this crazy stuff. I think that's taking it a bit to the extreme. Like, yes, I am wearing Supreme and I am kind of wearing, if you could argue, a hype beast outfit just because it's kind of flashy Supreme. But I try to be chill with my pieces that I cop. That's why this hoodie is like super minimal and the label is like just in the corner and it's super minimal. It's not like some flashy box logo. So people, yes, they can still see that it's Supreme, but it's not like I'm trying just to flash that I'm Supreme out there. My hat, okay, you win me there. My hat is pretty flashy and I'm trying to get a black box logo next. But anyway, Back to the point of the video, I think that another reason why people buy Supreme is just to flex on people and say, hey, I have a box logo, you know what? I'm gonna take some Hypebeast photos, post them on my Instagram, all that stuff. Like, I think you can take it a bit to the extreme. I think there's a good like amount where you can post a little bit, you know, wear a little bit of Supreme, but if you take it to the extreme, then I feel like you're just trying to flex on everyone, which is not, I'm not a fan of that. Now again, before you go and roast me in the comments or do anything like that, just remember these are my opinions and you will have your own opinions, everyone does, but these are mine and I'm sharing them with you in the form of a video. So those are the three reasons why I think people buy Supreme and it's honestly for personal reasons, to try to make money off reselling and just to flex on people because it's Supreme and it's hype. So I don't feel like I've ever shared this, but uh, I'm just gonna let you know like some of my favorite artists that I listen to 
Uh, I just barely started listening to Logic's new album, Bobby Tarantino 2. I think Logic's pretty good, although I, I don't like usually listen to him. It's just every once in a while. Post Malone, definitely huge. Uh, and Kendrick Lamar is probably my all-time. I think he's the best rapper. I don't know if he's my favorite, but I think he's the best. Justin Bieber, Kendrick, um, Jaden Smith, I think he's okay. He's not bad. His music is all right. I like him better as an actor, but his music is all right. Um, and my all-time favorite rapper is definitely Hobson right now. Hobson is the man. Hopefully he's gonna come to Utah on his No Shame concert. I do definitely wanna go to that because that would be so sick to go to. I don't know why I started talking about music. Uh, I'm going to keep listening to music and probably drive home and figure out something to do. And just like that, we are done. I hope you enjoyed the cinematic edit. I don't know how I'm gonna organize this video. I'm pretty sure the way I'm gonna do it, it's gonna go like cut back and forth between like vlog and then the Supreme stuff. I don't know. It all just depends on what I end up doing for the rest of the day. It is now time to end this video and I was just barely on my phone checking my subscription status. I was actually on the YouTube app um, looking in the corner. It said that I am now at 600 subscribers. So basically, I just wanted to end this video by saying thank you for 600 subscribers. I have made videos for probably about two or three years now. So unfortunately, like, I'm not growing very good, but I appreciate those of you who stick around and subscribe. Although I am a small channel, it does not mean that I don't put in the effort that these big channels put in. I put in just as much, if not more sometimes, effort into my videos than like subscribe, like people with much more subscribers. The only difference is I have not figured out my content yet, but once I do, I will figure out my content and it will go up and up and up and better. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope you did enjoy. I just wanted to make this video today to talk about the types of people who buy Supreme and basically why uh, people buy Supreme there. I think those are the main three reasons that I mentioned in this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Hopefully the video wasn't too short. Uh, I always say this like literally at the end of every video when I feel like it's not going to be that long and then it ends up being like 10 minutes. So we will see. But hopefully you did enjoy this video. If it was short, hope it was good enough for you. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Outro incoming. Oh,